the two-headed giant is giving a speech. Because these 20 meter boat tall giants are ruled by tiny humans, the crown that dominates the world rests upon the head of a human king. To reclaim the crown, the giant threw magic beans to the ground. On a stormy night, nourished by the rain, the magic beans grew into massive vines. Descending from giant land, the giants prepared to snatch humans for food. They abducted the beautiful princess and prince, demanding humans exchange the crown for the princess. A journey to climb the vine and rescue the princess from giant land thus began. A man finds himself dumped onto a pancake. Turns out, the ugly giant is cooking. His lunch is this man, that giant, with contempt. Rose dough, turning the man into a burrito, sprinkling breadcrumbs on top. The man tries to break free, but he's completely immobilized. He along with the pigs nearby, are about to become the giant's feast. A touch of scallions. It'll be absolutely delicious. The giant picks up a toothpick, inserting it between the man's legs. The man is so scared he almost wants himself. He ignites the fire, opens the oven. The man is about to become a kebab. Suddenly, a cry from the giant. A knife plunges into his head. It's Jack. The rescuer, the poor boy has long admired the princess, volunteering to come to the rescue. They climbed the vine for three days and nights, enduring storms, from one being to the next. Finally reaching Giantland, he finds the princess locked in a cage. While the giant rides in pain, he secretly releases the princess, and hands the prince a knife. The prince cuts through the dough, and the three escape together. On their way home, they spot a sleeping giant, blocking their path. Quick thinking, Jack comes up with a plan. He fetches a massive beehive, opens the giant's face mask, and drops the hive into the giant's mouth. Bees begin buzzing inside the giant's mouth, startling him awake. He jumps up, cursing, slapping his own face, and stumbling around. Suddenly, he rips off the mask, scaring himself backward, and falling off a cliff. Jack and the princess are overjoyed. He carries the princess down the vine, professing his love to her. Meanwhile, the king and soldiers are chopping trees, intending to cut down the massive vine. They drive large nails into tree stumps, using horses to pull out the roots. The massive vine comes crashing down from the sky. Jack and the princess are still on the vine, sharing lovey of a moments. Jack holds the princess and descends, bringing down the giants from the sky as well, landing conveniently in the king's territory. A war between giants and humans erupts, bullets flying everywhere, fires blazing, and attempts to freeze the castle. The two-headed giant leads the charm. Chasing after the princess and Jack, with the princess in one hand, and Jack in the other, both are powerless. Suddenly, Jack remembers the magic beans in his pocket, tossing them into the giant's mouth. The beans take root and sprout inside the giant's belly, instantly growing into towering trees. The two-headed giant explodes, losing their leadership and dropping their weapons. The giants surrender, and Jack, the one who reclaimed the crown, becomes the leader of the giants. As well as the new king, he and the princess bear lovely children.